right, what we'll do is we'll use this mare. Just kind of keep her satisfied here. And normally, hi, hi little one. Hi, hi little one, it's all right. She's a little scared. You want to get down to her side. There we go. And this one's a little skittish. Hi. Yeah, try that. Hi, honey. Come here. Hi, right, sweetheart. That a girl. How you doing? You are a sweet thing. Yes, you are. Come up in here a little further. Come here. Don't be stupid. Hi. You don't want any friends, do you, huh? You don't want any new friends, do you? I don't blame you. Hi. How are you? Scratch, scratch. Come here. Montana trying to steal his colt. That's pretty wily, aren't you? You're pretty wily, aren't you? Huh? Are you pretty wily? Can you see me? Hi. Uh-huh. I have a feeling you've used that before, haven't you? Easy, easy, easy. Easy, Granny. Easy, sweetheart. Easy. There you go. There you go. There you go again. Yeah, that works. That worked out. Here that one. Okay, I got this. Here we are in the jungle, and uh, Jim is down trying to play with the alligators. Cranky. Cranky. Mutual of Omaha. Wild Kingdom. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Goodness sakes. Okay, let's let her, let's, let's make her sure she understands where to go. Okay, there you go. There you go. Where you go, honey? Yeah. All right, now what we'll do is we'll take these two one at a time, I think. And we're just going to get a little resistance. See, the, the halter training starts right here. A little resistance. I'm not going to let her take any more. There, when she comes forward, relieves the pressure. And they learn very, very quickly. Good. Good girl. There you go. 
There you go. I'm gonna ask her again. I'm gonna ask. There, good girl. Comes into the and relieves that pressure. Oh, Kaylin's drinking mare's milk. Good, now we'll let her go. Good girl. So we'll need a halter for this mare, and then we'll take her over into a different pasture. Very close. Yeah. Yeah, we'll grab her. Should have had you grab her. Oh, you got him, Mom? Oh. Oh, it helps to have an extra set of legs or two. But we'll take her over, and it's going to be a very small maternity pasture we keep them in. And, uh, yeah. Then we'll be able to be very, very convenient for us right outside the house and be able to play with these guys and get caught back up more on some of this handling and this imprinting much better than we have had this year. Last year, the last time we have colts, this is the first time we haven't been able to do this right away in years and years, but we're getting, Lisa moved up here with me to the main ranch, has been what you would call an ordeal to say the least. Yeah, exactly. And both the boys have to come home to help us. So, Kaylin's checking this fence. It was checked earlier. Um, I looked at it, but it's good to just double check again. Barbed wire to get a colt cut up on. Uh, large, large type size mesh on the woven wire and on some cow panel here. So that these colts are nice and safe. But if there's anything that's poking or sticking out, then we can find it one last time again while this water's filling and let them kind of get acquainted with their surroundings a little bit. And this mare's gonna have a little fit with this filly being in here because she actually thinks she's needing it. And I think she was the same way last time she had a colt. She was pretty broody and with others until she had her own. But again, he's just going through, checking integrity of that, checking for anything that can cause any harm to either the mares or the colt. And those colts are so vulnerable. Those little legs, they'll stick them through things, they'll get caught. Things that are right at eye level for them will uh, be a potential hazard. So we want to make sure that there's nothing in the way, no, no problem with it. And they'll, they'll run this fence here for a little bit. And I think this colt is running the mare more than the mare is running the colt. Because that mare on the outside thinks she needs in. All right. I think we look good. 100%. Okay. So let's go get another mare and bring her over. Mare's standing on her lead. So that caused a little bit of a panic on the colt's part. And again, this colt's a little bit more flighty initially than this other one. This mare is really laid back out of the first pair we took over. And uh, this mare is not quite as laid back. She's a nice mare, but she tends to throw horses that are a little bit more energy to them you see how just like that a little bit of reaction there we go good and he's gonna have to get that gate and he'll just stop take his time won't be a big deal and these colts are pretty good about following these mares very closely like that just give them a little time so that they can not get separated, then they don't get anxious and try to get to them without getting to them through the right spot. And he's going to take them both over, show them where the water's at. This is kind of old hat to them because they've, well, I guess this second mare hasn't done this before here. This is the first time she's had a hole here. And that mare's a little anxious about. <laughs> Colt fell down. 
first week on our new legs. So we're going to show our uh, good friends Bert and Greg from California a little bit about our mares and colts. we got a couple here that are kind of in the initial stages of imprinting and training and uh, show kind of what we do. And with these guys, of course, you got to be kind of quiet. His mare's nice and quiet. She's a sweetheart. Here's her colt. And you can see we've got a halter and a lead rope on them already. And they're fairly precocious, but these guys have had almost no training because of a lot of activity going on. So what I need to do for their behavior is to get kind of down at their level and not be too much of a, a huge influence way over the top to, to scare them at all. So, yes, I know. I can get you. You're a good girl. There we go. See if this colt gets curious enough, she'll come up. A little filly. There we go. There we go. Hi. Hello, sweetheart. And so we'll just be really nice and quiet. And I might work my way over here to this rope. And I'm just going to gently pull, try not to scare her, but I just want her to kind of spin out of this rope a little bit. There you go. Easy. Easy, kid. Just easy. 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 There we go. There. Kind of spun her away. She's a little fearful, but I'm going to teach her that resistance doesn't do anything for her. And the moment, the moment that I feel her come forward, then I'm going to release a pressure and let her be rewarded like you would any other adult horse. That pressure release, that is good. There you go. She's going to, she's going to resist again. And she really wants to have mom over here. There we go. Release the pressure. Good. And then if I start to increase some pressure, then hopefully she'll start coming forward. If she can resist a little bit, she may really fight this. Good girl. Good girl. Come here. Good. Good. So the only option for any pressure release is to just come forward. There we go. Good. And there she drops her head. Come forward a little bit. Let tail move a little bit. There we go. Good girl. And it would really help if that mare was over with me, but this is okay. There. There's a step. Good. Good girl. You're smart. You're smart. There we go. There we go. Yeah. There we go. And with all else fails, mom comes close and makes it all better, doesn't she? Doesn't she? There you go. I just barely pulled on her. Don't let her smell me. Mm -hmm. Good kid. Good kid. Good. Come to me. I'm going to ask her to come to me. Good. Good. Come here. Good. Now I'm going to let her smell my breath through my nose. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. It's a little scary. A little scary stuff. Yeah. 
and I'm not going to let it go away. I encourage you to come too. Give her a touch. There we go. And she relaxes. I continue to do the same thing. I let the mirror get in the way. Resist. There you go. Good. And she comes forward. Come here. Yeah, I'm going to pull. There. She comes forward. Stops resisting. Then I stop pulling. Come here. There. Stroke her. There we go. And let her smell me. There. Hand on her both sides, stroke her neck, and then take the pressure off. There we go. Good girl. Be nice and safe with mom. There we go. Come here. There. She's not resisting horribly. Just a little bit. Stretch her neck. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Come forward. Come here. There you go. You let go. Good. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah, she's a good girl. Her little chin, that lower lip, is tucked up pretty tight. Good. Got a hand come up. She's watching that. There we go, and I'm releasing the pressure. Let her accept that. And then I'm going to work my way back here a little bit. There we go. And she likes her hind end rub. A lot of them do. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels good. Look at that hind end. Look at that hind leg. Taking all the pressure off of it. She can do the same thing this other one if I get over here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. I like that. There, now she's starting to lick and chew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feels good. I like that. Yeah, I like that, don't we? Yeah. If this mare stays calm, Colt's going to be a lot calmer. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Oh, that I like that. Now yeah, we'll see if I can get her to come back with me again. A little pressure. There we go. Good girl. Come here. Come on. Good. 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 Come here. Come with me. Good girl. What do you think, huh? Can you give me one more step? And you're now your mother's a problem. Mare standing right between us. If I can do this without it causing too much of an issue. Having these ropes around these colts makes a lot of difference. Good. Good kid. No, no, come here. Good. As soon as she steps forward, I take the pressure off. Good. Gotta get, just got to get used to it. There we go. There we go. There. Just start stroking her neck. There. She settles. And I take the pressure off of her face. Off this halter. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah. Good girl. And I'm breathing through my nose into her nose. 
Good. 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 Bring you over here. Take a step. Good girl. Another step. Good girl. Another step. Good. Another step. Good girl. There we go. There we go. Bring you over here. There we go. Kind of going to get between her and the mare a little bit. There. Let her smell me. Let her check me out. Notice I'm way below her eye level. Yeah. She sees me down here, so I'm not much of a threat. And then I'm just going to let her kind of go. And then see if we can bring her back around. Good girl. Good girl. All it takes is a step, half a step. Good girl. There, yeah, and I'm going to just start working way down their legs a little bit. Good. Good. There. Yeah. Good kid. There we go. Good. Good kid. Bring her up here. There we go. Neck and shoulder, down your leg, good girl, Get your leg up, hold it, good, good girl, oh, that's a good girl, yes you are, all right, then I'm just going to back away a little bit again, give her a minute to think. This will come to me. Good girl. Good girl. Good. That a baby. That's a good girl. Good. Good. Yeah. One more step. One more. There you go. Good. Good. Your little pet. And I'm going to let her have her mom. Give her a minute. Then I'm just going to let her leave on her own will. Nice and quiet. There. Look at that licking and chewing. Even at this age. That's that understanding. That, that blinking of the eyes. Licking, chewing, that understanding, acceptance of what's just gone on. And it's kind of a processing of that information. Now she's going to go to mom, hide over on that side, and then probably start nursing here after a bit. There she goes. Now she's nursing. Starting to, trying to. This is Lady's baby, and she's about a month old now. And every once in a while she'll show you how she can run. Snack time.
the back up yet into it. Hi there. Hi there, Lily. How are you? Oh, are you okay? You can't munch too hard because that really does hurt. She'll bite. Shit. Are you a little turd? Are you a oh, cute little thing? Oh, hi. 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 Can I love on you? Thank you. Oh. You two are so unfriendly. Yes, you're so unfriendly. Hi, hi. Pretty girl. Come here, Lily. Come here, little one. You're not the boss of me. Hi, you gonna come see us? Hi, girls. Hi. How's the mama? How's the mama? What do you think of kitties, honey? What do you think of kitties? <laughs> hey, lady. She's not sure. Lady and Bentley's baby. Yes. Oh. Oh, yeah. What is that? What is that thing? Look, it's right at our feet. What is that? Hi. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi. Look at those fuzzy ears. Those fuzzy ears. You're going to get me in trouble. Hi, lady.